Welcome to EEMS 140. This video provides a brief overview of the analysis and plotting features of the EFTC Explorer modeling system. Let's begin. Many of the plotting features of EFTC Explorer use the time series graphing utility. In addition to time series plotting, the time series graphing utility is also used for any XY plot as well as 2DV view. There are two ways to begin making a time series plot in EFTC Explorer, through the main menu for time series and from the button on the toolbar. To plot time series data, one or more cells must be selected for extraction. Cells can be copied and pasted into the list, rows can be added and removed, and cell selections can be imported or exported to a simple text file for later use. In addition, any cell selected in the 2D plan or profile views will also be added to the list automatically. The period included in the data extraction can be customized as well in the data extraction dialog. As with the 2D profile view extractions, parameters in the model are organized by their primary group. Once a parameter has been selected, it can be added to the list of parameters to plot on the left. Parameters can be added and removed from the list using the left and right arrow buttons. The draw order of the layers included in the parameters to plot can be adjusted using the up and down button. The configuration of the time series data extraction can also be imported and exported for later use. Once the time series has been plotted, a variety of tools and functions become available along the top menu bar. The layout, including the axis style, label ticks, and line styles, can be loaded and saved. The data settings button opens the display properties for each line in the plot. Data series from tabular data or text files can be imported to the time series plot. Any data currently displayed can also be exported to an ASCII text format. The visual features of the chart can be adjusted in the chart settings menu. Markers can be added to the X or Y axis, as with the 2D profile view plots. Text comments can also be added anywhere on the plot based on their X and Y locations. A number of keyboard shortcuts are also available for the time series plot. A list of these shortcuts can be accessed by pressing F2 on the keyboard. Features to compute comparison statistics are also included in the time series plots. Let's have a quick look at these features. To generate statistics, a data and model series must be selected from the available time series displayed in the plot. The period of comparison can include the entire model simulation period, or can be restricted to a specified date range. Rather than comparing the entire time series, users can also customize statistical reports by specifying specific time breaks for comparison. For example, to generate monthly statistical comparisons, start by checking the Break into Periods checkbox. Now breaks in the simulation period must be specified. Here, the beginning and end time for the comparison can be specified. The start, frequency, and duration of the time breaks is specified under the Add New Breaks frame. Defined time breaks are displayed on the left side of the form and can be deleted by selecting and pressing the right mouse button on any time break. Vertical profiles are used to display a parameter value at each step interval along the water column. The plots can be animated to display variations along the vertical profile at different snapshots in the simulation. Let's take a look at the different options in EE for creating vertical profiles. New profiles can be created using the vertical profile menu. As with the other cell extraction tools in EFTC Explorer, the user sees selected cells here. 
Cells can be added and removed manually. You can also use previously saved selection files or the 2D plan or profile view to select a set of cells for extraction. A list of parameters can be generated for the selected cells using the primary group filters. The user also has the option to add horizontal lines for water surface and bottom elevations. In vertical profiles, parameter values are displayed along the x-axis. Depth in the water column is displayed along the y-axis. Nodes of the profile represent the vertical midpoints of each model layer. As with the time series plots, the display properties for the vertical profile can be found in the data settings. The appearance of plot axes and titles can be modified in the chart settings. Markers and comments can be added to the vertical profile as well. As the axes of the vertical profile reflect the depth and parameter value for a single snapshot, plots can be animated by advancing through model snapshots. As with other plots which can be animated, timing frames can be displayed as well to help visualize the dynamics of different boundaries in the model. The Mass Flux tool is used to calculate the mass flux through a transect for parameters such as flow, sediment, and toxics. Let's have a look. There are a variety of options the user has access to for extracting mass flux along a transect. The first step in the flux extraction dialog requires the user to identify a transect location. Transects for extraction can be any compatible shape or overlay file. A variety of constituents can be used to generate mass flux estimates. The drop down menu allows the user to select the desired constituent for calculating mass flux. For models with multiple sediment, water quality, or dye classes, the class can also be selected for mass flux. The direction of flux can also be specified for reporting. Dominant flow will extract the signed flux across the transect based on the cell map. Flow can also be extracted along only the I or J dimensions of the grid. The absolute total magnitude of flow can also be extracted using the total flow radio button. The period of extraction can be set to the entire period of the simulation or to a specified period. Statistics for mass flux can be generated from this dialog, as can time series plots.